now we're doing the charger here. And they set it 200 amp engine start. Or that's 50, 50 right now. And then we're going to put it to 200 again. And that's all being powered by the Duetti. It's about 1,000 watts right now. And it's also firing the, the diesel heater to preheat the engine. So the Duetti's powering everything out here for us. We're going to plug this on 200 amps in just a minute and get this dead battery to fire up. So that's going with the 200 amp engine start mode. Still powering it, plus the heater. And the battery charge throwing that into the battery. The wall charger on the Blue Eddy 463 is definitely doing more than the original Blue Eddy that I have, which is like 389. So it's nice to see that it's got a little bit more power. It has a fan built into it where the other one does not. And these are charging off of our solar right now. It's just off of the grid here. Okay, so there's a 350 watt solar panel. It's a portable panel. It goes to the Blue Eddy. Um, I forgot how many volts it was. 50, was it 50 volts, 50 something volts, you remember? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, it's deployable. It folds up in, that's one panel. It folds up into those four sections all fold over. It's got a nice carrying case handle on it. Seems like it's pretty convenient to carry around. You can deploy it somewhere. It has regular MC4 connectors on it. And uh, just plugs right into the Bluetti here. And we're all charged up right now, so it's not really bringing in anything. But uh, yeah, that's a... Kind of a neat setup to have that, that one deployable panel. You can park your RV in the, in the shade somewhere and then throw your panels out in the sun and then just get an extra extension cable for the MC4s. And that's 350 watts. That'll charge up your fridge all day and probably take care of your TV usage and stuff like that, too. And the fact that this Blue Eddy, like I showed earlier, has the 30 amp RV plug on it, too, makes it super convenient to use for camping. Yeah, it's really easy to carry, right? Yeah, it's uh, not bad at all. Um, right. Compared to one of those panels over there, it's definitely <laughs> right. a lot lighter. Right. And yeah, it folds up Many, nice. More handles, too. And it's more watts than one of those over there, too. All right, so this is the Blue Eddy, the AC 200 Max. It's 2,048 watt hours, and it's actually for here in the US at one, uh, 110 to 120 volts, it's a 2,200 watt inverter. So it's lithium uh, iron phosphate battery. Um, you can charge it off of solar. We have the, the one large solar panel for it, 300 and something watts, but it actually has a solar input of up to 900 watts, I believe it is. Uh, it comes with a wall charger, uh, the wall charger, it's a next generation one compared to what they used to have. This one has a fan built into it. Our old one didn't have that. We have three Blue Eddy units here that we've used. Uh, one of them we used every day for over two years here on the property. Uh, it's, it, they, we haven't had any issues with them. We love them actually. Um, this size is great. It's got the cell phone chargers, the wireless chargers on the top, the 15 watt ones. Uh, it has a 10 amp car plug on it and it also has this 30 amp one. So you can plug in some of your AC accessories uh, that you have uh, in your RV. Uh, not AC, sorry, DC, that's th th uh, 12 volt uh, DC. But some of your stuff, the 12 volt appliances and stuff like that, you can run with that. And then it also has the, a 10 amp, those style DC plugs, and then the USB-Cs, USB, the traditional USBs that are on there. And those are, that's a three amp. Uh, and that one's 18 watts and that one's uh, 5 volts DC 3 amps and then it has four of the household plugs the 110 120 volt plugs and then the big new addition to this one that we don't have on our other one that's like this is now has a 30 amp RV plug as well so you can plug your 30 amp AC power for your RV into there and power all your RV systems um, Again, you wouldn't want to run your air conditioning for a long time, but if you had 900 watts of solar and you had a mini split, you could probably do that during the day. But it'll cover everything else in there, your refrigerator and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a nice compact setup. Uh, we have the portable panel for it. We've been using it up to two th over 2,000 watts here, and it does produce the amount of power that it's said to. Um, it's a really nice unit. Your solar inputs and everything here. They also sell additional batteries that you can add to this. They have one that's like 2,048 watts, another one's 3,048 maybe. So, um, and you can add more than one to it. So you can buy this and then add the additional battery power to it as well if you want to. 
But uh, if you're looking for a portable solar power station, uh, solar power generator, this this is a really, Blue Eddy makes a great product. We've, like I said, we have three of them here on the property. I have the older version of this one as well. It's, it's basically the same. It doesn't have all, it doesn't have the 30 amp plug here and it doesn't have the 30 amp plug there. Um, everything on here is touch screen. You can turn the AC and DC off. It tells you how many watts you're using when you're doing it, how many you're bringing in from the solar, if you're using a DC load or an AC load. Um, it's pretty convenient. Uh, it is a little hard to read this setup when you're outside. Uh, I, I wish it, it had a, I don't know, a, a different kind of backlight behind it or something. It's very hard to read outside. Um, but other than that, it's it's a really nice unit. They're they're heavy. This is on the heavy side. You wouldn't want to lug it around real, real far. Um, I don't know what the weight is on it. It probably says in the book here, but I'm going to guess it's probably about 60 pounds or something like that, uh, 50 it's, it's definitely not, it's got two handles on it, thank goodness, because it's, it's very awkward to carry because it's so large. But it, when you're getting into the larger style units, you gotta be able to power more stuff. Um, it's nice to have that. So, we'll show you a little bit of clips of us using it here on the property, we've been using it. The uh, ever popular uh, solar powered diesel heater, we've been using it for that, <laughs> to fire up our kerosene heater, uh, which I actually have diesel fuel in it to preheat the engines and stuff like that on buses when we start them up. But uh, yeah, we take this out and it gives us AC power anywhere we want to go. So we just throw it in the side by side. We can run battery chargers, all kinds of stuff like that remotely here on the property. Uh, and it works out great for us.